Hi, my name is Mariah Tanner and I'm the Director of Community Development at the Volunteer Center of Santa Cruz County. And I am with my dear friend... Jorge Savala, Community Outreach Director with Friends of Santa Cruz State Parks. So Friends of Santa Cruz State Parks, can you just tell me a little bit about what that is? It's a nonprofit. What's the deal there? Oh yeah, so we're a uh, nonprofit cooperating organization with the state of California, state of state parks, and we help support 32 state parks and beaches all up and down the coast from Palm Beach all the way to Montera. So Santa Cruz County and our Santa Cruz district includes the coast of San Mateo. So we get to fund all of the education programs, ed and interp interpretation, right? And also the kiosk workers. So when you pay those $10 um, for parking at Sea Cliff Beach or Natural Ridges, mm -hmm. those are actually our employees, but they represent the state. And we get to use those funds to support all of the education projects, programs, capital projects, building, like adding a new elevator lift to the Wilder Ranch um, oh, meter cool. house. Yeah, it cool. broke down, so we paid $7,500 to fix it. Right. Well, what about the horses? Oh, the animal program? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that animal program. We also fund the animal program, and we're looking for volunteers. And so we do a lot of connecting uh, for people here in the area with the state parks as well. Oh, great. When, um, whenever your name comes up, it, you know, it's, it's so interesting because you're the type of person in our community that you, I feel like you just have your hand in so many different pots of social justice work. Right. I know, right? So either, whether it's, you know, with Living Evolution or with Yoga for All movement or, you know, my coworker, Christina Thurston was like, yeah, Jorge, he goes to like all the school board meetings because he thinks there should be a bilingual representative. But I know how it is to have to choose one organization because we can't work full time for it all, right? No. And I am so um, impressed by your personal story and I was wondering if you could share a little bit about why you choose to work for your organization. Yeah, well, it goes back to my early days. I grew up on a migrant labor camp here in Santa Cruz on the outskirts, uh, right off Coast Road, Wilder Ranch was actually my playground. Um, there is a, some dilapidated houses that are no longer there, uh, home to about 20 people, had two friends, right? And so really there is not much to do besides roam around, ride my bike, fish on the cliffs with my dad, um, and garden a lot, right? So mm -hmm. I was always outside, always enjoying nature, and I never knew that was a state park, right? Until here I am in my 30s now, and I'm like, wait, this is where I used to hang out all the time. <laughs> So yeah, I'm really uh, into the social justice work. I mean, I serve, um, part of my role at, at Friends of Santa Cruz State Parks is uh, serving on a youth violence prevention task force for the county. I'm on the steering committee and I serve as a child and youth development work group chair. And uh, I took on another role as board member for Santa Cruz Community Health Centers. Mm -hmm. And I decided to join the Sheriff Advisory Board as well. Because I saw that there was what else, a what else, what else, what else, what else do I want to do, right? <laughs> I did learn how to say no, um, yeah. so I have turned down some other opportunities. But I'm always there and available and willing to help out wherever I can. Yeah. Just because I saw the major need for equitable access to pro-social activities or to opportunities to go camping or hiking or, mm. you know, I never got to go on a field trip when I was a little kid mm. um, in school. I got to see the monarch butterflies at Natural Bridges, of course, um, <laughs> just by coincidence, walking from Natural Bridges Elementary School back home, I cut through the park and there I was in this mm. grove of monarch butterflies as a kid, right? So really with friends of Santa Cruz State Parks, our main or my main goal, and it really aligns with our strategic plan is equitable access to all of our state parks. Mm -hmm. So with that, we got to, uh, we started a kids to parks program this year where we actually fund buses for Title I schools that otherwise would not be able to visit a state park with our kids. So that's super exciting for me. Can you define a Title I school? Title I school, that's a specific, let's say all the schools that really may not have the resources or have free or reduced lunch participation. Right. right? And it's a lot of schools in Pajaro Valley. We work with Santa Clara County and mm -hmm. San Mateo County as well. Yeah, which is, I mean, how incredible because South County has some of my favorite state parks in 
in our county. But I want to touch back on this this term access because we we talk about equ equity and access a lot in our work. But what does it look like to you if your organization is a success? If you guys reach your mission and you know what 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 what's the change in someone's life that they can experience by by really getting their hands on and um, enjoying our state parks. Oh, wow. So, I mean, it depends. Let's say you uh, talk about a high school student, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, recently we had a couple of drownings down in Pajo uh, in that area just over the last two years, right? Because mm -hmm. kids don't know how to swim, right? Youth don't know how to swim. So now we're like, okay, well, how can we give them exposure at a young age to teach them about rip current uh, dangers? Um, so now we're working with lifeguards to do presentations at high schools rather than just fourth graders to create that awareness and knowledge um, and connectivity with the state beaches, right? Recently, we started a program with Watsonville High School seniors um, where 10 of them are participating at the new state park, the Castro Adobe, which is brand new. Nobody even knows about it. Ooh, well, there's just a few of us, right? In Santa Cruz. <laughs> so it's a new state historic park that's not fully open. We're still uh, raising money and developing an interpretive plan for it and all. But we have monthly open houses where this group of 10 Watsonville High School seniors took on um, as their community action project through their government class. They have been participating and volunteering there for these monthly open houses where at first they just thought they were going to be setting up and just like laying out tablecloths. Mm -hmm. But within the first month, they're like, hey, what kind of activities can we have here? Mm -hmm. Like, this is your space, right? They took yeah. ownership and they wanted to do things like for Valentine's for our Romance on the Rancho event. They made Adobe uh, heart-shaped Adobe bricks, oh, which was cute. really cute. And Did you with, get one? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, it's at my house. <laughs> Did you give it there. to your fiance? Yeah, I got to give it to her. Of That's course, good. it's sitting there. It's just all perfectly preserved. Don't want to crack it, <laughs> right? But they took on leadership skills, or they developed leadership skills. And at the end, now they're thinking about careers in state parks. And they're like, hey, how can we pursue this now that we're going off to college? Mm -hmm. So it's just putting those seeds in to create a long mm -hmm. lasting impression. Who knows, they could be the next stewards of our state parks. Well, it sounds like they already are the next stewards of our, they sound like they are stewarding our state parks. So I love state parks, you love state parks. Um, what is, if someone wants to get involved or if they want to give back or say they want to donate, you know, like a couple hours on a Saturday morning, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you or get, in, or, you know, access what you're organization is doing so i gotta plug the website of course that's of course. triple w that's my park dot org mm -hmm. so that's my park because that's your park that's everybody's park mm -hmm. that's my park dot org and there's different ways to get involved right we have um work days like we just did a lighthouse field restoration cleanup event for um earth day mm -hmm. and where we had about 70 volunteers out there pulling ivy and doing some native plant uh restoration work then we have actual docent programs that we connect people to, whether you want to dress up in 1900s period clothing at Wilder Ranch and I hang out that. for 4th of July, yeah. right? We actually have comprehensive docent trainings. Oh. It's like eight weeks every Saturday, and at the end, you're ready to go to interpret mm -hmm. the history and help lead tours with kids. Mm -hmm. We have a Ranch Kid Days there. Really cool to see a bunch of fourth graders, about 40 of them get dressed in period clothing and then go make cookies in the old wood fire stove and things like that. So fun. Oh yeah. What about diversity and your organization? I know that's a big one for you. So what, like our bilingual docents, like what, what does that look like? And that's where I come in, right? Bum, bum, bum. Here you go. So as a community <laughs> outreach director, really my uh, focus is equity and accessibility right mm -hmm. and also creating the pipeline for state park careers and when you go to a state park you know you see a lot of folks and uh that are in uniform that are you know typical older gentlemen you know mm -hmm. and they don't speak any other, la other languages so when i first came on board i'm like oh an interpreter what does it oh what kind of language do you interpret like what is that like no 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 it's history and nature that we interpret I'm like, okay, well, what happens if my mom comes to the state park, mm -hmm. right? And she only speaks Spanish. So really it's been my mission to diversify our workforce, um, to work with people that are, uh, let's say, the maintenance positions, for example. Uh, it's the first time ever in like six years that we got Sacramento to set up Santa Cruz as a testing site 
for the state park job so that people don't have to go to Eureka or mm. to San Clemente mm -hmm. or somewhere else out of the area. And this way we work with other organizations, community-based organizations that serve on a youth violence prevention task force. So we get the word out to everybody. Let's mm -hmm. say we get some youth from Food Wet to apply for our mm -hmm. positions. We get other people to come in as visitor service aides, right? Starting um, working at a kiosk and then a park aid job comes up, right? Or the senior park aid job comes up. So we are able to move people within the state system. Yeah. And this way we're diversifying our workforce. Yeah, definitely. I think on behalf of everyone who visits the state park, just a moment of uh, gratitude for the sanitation workers. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, um, uh, and just into close, uh, I want to know two things. The first is, what is your favorite state park in our county? I want to have to go with the Castro Adobe, the newest one, the Castro Adobe State Historic Park. It's not open all the way, but we have school tours and we have it open once a month. But really, it's a two-story adobe house with a restored adobe kitchen that looks just like my grandmother's kitchen in Mex Mexico. Mm -hmm. And you can actually cook tortillas in this kitchen and really learn about the history before the gold rush mm -hmm. that transpired here, before all of this, all of this development. Right? So it's a really awesome place. It's so close to Watsonville also. But, uh, yeah, that's so great. Lastly, um, I just want to say that if, you're, if you could do anything else in the world, what would you do? Oh man, anything else in the world. I'd really just focus on sustainable planning and development of more accessibility for parks and for sports programs, pro-social pro activities. Mm -hmm. Really, I would just build more things. Like uh, one of my favorite things that I was able to do was uh, expand the Sheriff Activity League into Live Oak back in the day. We saw a need in 2006, 2007 in Live Oak when I was working for Community Bridges and volunteering at the Resource Center in Live Oak and mm -hmm. there wasn't enough activities. So my friends and I, we started a uh, soccer program, you know, after, and during the summer with about 60 kids, invited all the different elected officials, superintendent, the sheriff, and then later on it was adopted by the Sheriff Activity League and now it's been serving mm -hmm. 400 kids each summer along with Junior Giants and that started with a group of volunteers. And so if I could do more stuff like that, just to build things mm -hmm, for the mm -hmm. community and get paid for it, that'd be great. But I kind of am already doing that with friends at Santa Cruz State yeah. Park, so I'm kind of loving it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you heard it here first, folks. If you want to build more infrastructure, Jorge Savala. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you wanna see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.